All right, I've got two Chinese flavors of Oreos that we're gonna try out here in just a second. Uh, we've got green tea fig, I believe that's what it said, and this was hopefully rose flavored. It's also zero sugar, hopefully it's good either way. Let's try it right now. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the green tea and fig, and there was actually three in the set that were at the store. There was like a vanilla, strawberry, and then this green tea fig, and vanilla and strawberry, it seems kind of regular, so I didn't get those, even though they seem like the thins. So also, they look very thin. Um, and then this one, rose. Again, it also said it was like zero sugar. Zero sugar sandwich cookies, rose. And it's rose, not rosé. I'm so sick of getting what I think was like a flower-flavored drink, and it's wine-flavored instead. So I will start with rose, just because I'm the most excited for that. They're gonna come in a little sleeve. Oh, they do. Oh, they come in like little. There's, so there's like two of them in here. You get two little, they come in little packets and they're, they're kind of like pressure seal. Look at that. So let's open this up. It's gonna like pop. And eh, no. I don't have any like milk with me or anything. So I'm just going to be trying these. Well, these are very thin. Look at this. It's like incredibly thin. Zoom in, uh, didn't focus. But yeah, I think these might be thinner than like the Oreo thins that they sell here. And it kind of smells like a rose perfume. I was like, I'm gonna open one up here and dissect it. If I can, I'm gonna like, that's pinker than like a normal, I'm thinking. So again, very thin, let's just try it. That does taste like rose. And the chocolate of the cookie. So if you like chocolate and rose, or like rose flavored chocolates, if you had something like that, you'll probably like this. If you don't like, it does taste kind of perfumey. Like, you know, not too many people are eating roses and flowers all the time. So you're kind of like, ooh, like I sprayed some perfume or something in my mouth. Uh, so if you don't like that, it does taste kind of chemically like that. Um, but if you also just like rose, if you like rose flavored gum and stuff like that, it's the same type of stuff. So it's a, just guess depends if you're used to that or not. Some people might be like, oh yeah, it's like a, eating an air freshener, or licking a candle or something. I like it though. So it's accurate and it's good. Uh, I guess it just depends on if you actually like that or not. Uh, again, I don't know what a fig, oh, I was gonna say, do I know what a fig tastes like? I mean, we had fig Newtons. Is that the same type of fig flavor? Um, and again, there's green tea in it too, so. These also look very thin. Again, I'm being very gentle here because I think these would just very easily snap. They're that thin. How are you in this whole package here? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, some of these look a little, a little thicker. That one's got some space going on here. Um, let's open them up and see. All right, well, there's not much in there to like tell. Like here, it looks like just little bits. Oh, see, I already friggin' snapped it. So I'm gonna place that aside. I'm not gonna bite the snapped one. Like you see these like bits and stuff that's on the box here. Um, I didn't really see them when I looked in there. So, but and that doesn't it smells kind of like like a wheat or something like a looks like a bread. Like I don't know, it doesn't smell like green tea. It doesn't smell like a chocolate Oreo either. I taste something, but it doesn't taste like a fruit. It doesn't taste like green tea. It doesn't taste like a fig Newton, the fig that I know. 
And it doesn't really taste like chocolate, like just the Oreo either. So it's like, if the cream didn't have any flavor and I was just trying the chocolate Oreo like cookie, I'm not really tasting that either. So this is like really surprisingly light, probably because it's, you know, it's like a thin in the first place. But again, I did, the only really flavor I kind of took was kind of like a, some sort of like bread flavor, you know, it's freaking made of bread, cracker, um, but like, like wheat and stuff like that. So. You know what? That is, that is more green tea that the more that I taste it the second time around. So I don't taste any fruit sort of thing. It barely almost tastes like nothing at all until you start to like swallow and then you taste the green tea. Um, so definitely it's more green tea than it is fig on this one here. Let me go back to the rose one more time. The rose one said it was zero sugar. Fancy zero on it too. So maybe that's also why it tasted a little bit kind of chemically and perfumey to me, because uh, it's probably more like the artificial zero sugar stuff that they're using here. Okay. Yeah, the rose is definitely much more stronger, intense in terms of flavor. That was, again, right away, bam, rose, enjoy. Um, not much of a weird aftertaste in either of them, but that one definitely tastes more uh, like what I was expecting. The uh, green tea one, barely any green tea at all, and certainly not as much in terms of flavor intensity. Um, so I wonder, well, this was its own like separate line because this, the green tea one, oh, I just dropped it, um, has all three of these guys here. So I'm wondering if like even the vanilla and the strawberry would be more subtle, um, but try these out if you like you know the the thin oreos are a little bit easier to eat anyway and they're not as like dense and got the cream and stuff going on but definitely try out the rose ones if you've never had rose flavored snacks in the first place try the oreo and then uh is that that's the box to what it looks like it's got that cool little metallic shimmer on it and then the green tea oreos too um yeah i guess because they don't sell green tea oreos here neither one of these so very asian in terms of the flavors i like them both check them out this one is a lot more subtle this one really a lot more rosy going on hope you like it i liked it and i will talk to you again soon